Hello guys, it's me Simu Orohara and in this video we're going to talk about how Yuru managed to survive the Auswerden. And before I start diving in this video's topic, I must to thank our friends who have become memberships in my channel and also who are in Patreon. I really appreciate your support guys, it means a lot for me and it gives me more Riazzo to publish and make videos for Bleach. Thank you guys so much. First of all, this particular question was asked to Kobo in Club Outside. And Kobo said, as you can see, the answer to this question will be revealed in the anime. And through the trailer that was recently revealed, there are signs of revealing this fact, especially after we saw a short clip of Ryuken and Yuryu that didn't appear in the manga. It appears that Ryuken and Yuryu were talking about why Ryuken didn't tell him about the presence of other Quincy's. And according to Kobo, we will know the answer soon in the anime. But the most important thing is that Kobo said that this point itself is a little complicated. And I totally agree with him. Especially since one of its sides is Sokin Ishida, the character we know a little about and he has a great impact on the story of this arc. I previously made a special video explaining the importance of this character and how I considered him the key to this arc. And I go with the same assumption of this fan who asked this question about that soaking Ishida might be one of the direct reasons of why Ishida Yuryu survived the Auswerden made by Yuhabach nine years ago. And the first thing that makes me think this possibility is Sokin's knowledge of the Auswerden. For example, in chapter 684, when Ryukin was talking about the mechanism of the arrow with which Yuhabach was eliminated, Ryukin said that it was Sokin who told him that the silver that appears from the Auswerden is known as the silver of stillness and this silver formed inside the hearts of those who were exposed to Auswerden. So Sokin was aware of Auswerden. For that I think he knew about it either after Yuhabach woke up, I mean after 990 years, or he was aware of it before Yuhabach even woke up from his seal. Because Sokin is not a normal Quincy. Sokin was once a Schernreiter within the Weinreich. He was against the research of the Weinreich. And even Ishin was aware of the Kaiser Gesang, which speaks of the return of the King of the Quincy's. Therefore, Sokin might have known that Yuhabach was one of his abilities that he owned the Auswerden. He may have known this through private research he did inside the Wanderreich when he was still working there, or he knew it from the archives of his noble family. And this may explain why the Ishida family or the Ishida offsprings are immune to the Auswerden, because Sokin Ishida may have known that if Yuhabach woke up, he would automatically threaten their lives because Yuhabach would then be able to take away their powers at any moment he wants. This is why Sokin Ishida may have anticipated his efforts to protect the entire family from this ability. And here also there is some kind of puzzles. What could Sokin have done to make Ryuken and Yuryu immune to the Auswerden? Especially Yuryu. Yuhabach himself admitted that Yuhabach was supposed to die in that incident, being a Quincy hybrid. Because it's not normal for a kid like Yuryu to stand against one of the strongest abilities of Yuhabach. This is totally unusual. Did Sokin Ishida come up with a mechanism that prevents the Auswerden from forming in the hearts of some Quincy's? Or is it possible that Sokin performed a special ritual for Yuryu at his birth? so that he would be protected from the Auswerden in case Yuhabach did this ritual later. There is also something we don't know. When exactly did Sokin die? Is it before Yuhabach wake up or after? Because this is very important. If it was confirmed that Sokin died after Yuhabach's awakening, then I think Yuhabach had a meeting with Sokin, like he did when he had visited Esnot at the hospital. Don't you see that Sokin's death is strange? How is it possible that someone like Sokin would die by some hollows? If that sort of meeting really happened guys, it will be really good to see it. Because it will certainly give us a lot of information about the true background of Sokin and his role in the Wanderreich, how he made Yuryu survive from the Auswerden. But in general, the anime faces a great challenge to reformulate the events of the arc in order to include the most important character in the arc, which is Sokin. And Kobo undoubtedly 
gave the studio the plot of Sokin, and so the ball's now in their court. And in the end, I think the key words of this puzzle are Sokin and Yuryu being the Prince of Light. Because Light, I'm not gonna say it makes the shadow completely disappeared, but it does make it confined at certain place. The Queen Seas couldn't take Mayuri's love because he made it shadowless using the light. And Yuhaba has called Yuryu the Prince of Light. Does Yuryu has a light that would make Yuhaba unable to steal his power? Is in Yuryu's body something that prevents Yuhaba from stealing his powers? The answer is left to the anime and you guys. What do you think? Give your opinions in the comments guys and see you in my next video.